What's up everyone, I'm Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Beautyrest Black Mattress. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about this mattress, the construction details, running through a number of tests, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, who it's a good fit for, who it's not a good fit for, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. All right, if you have any questions or you want me to give you a personal recommendation, I'm happy to do so. And I do read and reply back to you every single comment on YouTube. So just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, we have the Beautyrest Black Mattress. You'll see a lot of different names if you go into stores. It'll be Beautyrest Black this, Beautyrest Black that. Um, this is gonna be the one that's exclusively available on their website, beautyrest.com. So they also have a comfort and cooling option upgrade. And that's the model that I specifically reviewed here, but I'll jump to that in a little bit later. Let's jump in. Let's talk about the construction of the Beautyrest Black Mattress. I have the cooling plus comfort upgrade. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit thicker. This is a very, very substantial mattress. So starting with the cover, it is a cool to the touch fabric. So it definitely feels cool to the touch. So if you're worried about kind of sleeping hot, this is definitely a good option for you. Um, moving on to the mattress now, uh, there's a lot of layers here, basically pocketed coils and then a mixture of memory foam and polyfoam comfort layers. Um, so we have basically kind of a memory foam feel, which you'll see here, it's a little bit slow responding. You'll, you'll kind of sink into this mattress. Uh, with this kind of comfort upgrade, you get extra memory foam. So there's multiple inches of memory foam in here, which you can definitely see with this, with this feel. Um, but you're not gonna get the feeling of getting stuck. Um, you're also gonna have really great support from these heavy duty kind of pocketed coils. They also have a foam encased kind of edge support system as well. So the edge support's gonna be good. Um, we'll look into that a little bit later in this video. But it's gonna be great support, really good pressure relief if you get the comfort upgrade, which is gonna be a step up in price as well. There's also a step up in price for the cooling upgrade. Um, it's basically gonna be the memory foam is gonna be a little bit cooler. Um, I think it's definitely gonna sleep cool anyway. So that's just kind of something to note if you wanna pay a little bit extra to definitely make sure that you're gonna sleep cool. So so definitely a very good pressure relief. I'll go into that later in the video as well and very good support as well. All right, now let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a six out of 10. It's a little bit softer than average. Again, this is the cooling plus comfort upgrade. So if you don't get that, it'll be a little bit firmer. So you've got some pretty soft layers on top here. You can put your hand in pretty easily. Then you've got pocketed coils underneath that. So you kind of combine that feels about a six out of 10. As far as the feel is concerned, some mattresses you sleep more on top of the mattress, some you sleep in the mattress. This is kind of like right in the middle. So it's a true hybrid between a memory foam mattress and just a spring mattress. Um, you sink in a little bit, you do feel that memory foam, but then the coils kind of hold you up. There's not very much bounce either. I'll show you with this lacrosse ball. It doesn't really bounce up too much. So it really does just have a true kind of hybrid-y feel. All right, now I'm gonna talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions, starting on my back. First thing I notice is that I feel the pocketed coil is kind of holding me up and the memory foam does conform very well to the curves of my body. I did get the comfort upgrade. I would say if you just sleep on your back, um, either will work. You don't really need the comfort upgrade. Um, it's a good match for me there. Probably even a better match if I didn't get the comfort upgrade. Switching on to my side now, uh, very good pressure relief. Definitely feel that memory foam getting to work. Um, it's a little bit softer than average, so very good match for me um, while sleeping on my side. Uh, switching on to my stomach now, I would say that because I have that comfort upgrade, there's a little bit too much uh, comfort material, I would say. I probably want something a little bit firmer, probably with a little bit less comfort material. So that's just kind of something to note if you sleep on your stomach. In Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing. It shows you exactly how well every mattress leaves pressure. I'm gonna get down on this pressure map here, lie down on my back, side, and stomach. You're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. Only thing to note is if you have a different body type than I do, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, but I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person than Joe and I give my experience with the Beautyrest Black Mattress. So if you're a larger person like me, you also want to think about how supportive a mattress is and how comfortable it is. And this is a very supportive and also a very comfortable mattress. You have coils in the support layer and you have some very soft layers on top. But how does that make me feel? Well, I am sinking further into the mattress than Joe does, so I am feeling some more firmness than he 
does. He thought it was close to a six out of 10 in terms of firmness. I thought it was closer to a six and a half out of 10. Again, I'm pressing in a little bit further, feeling a little bit firmness than he does. But let's talk about all three sleeping positions one by one. Starting on my back, this is a very nice match for me. Good overall support, again, from those coils, but I'm getting some contouring from those top layers. Also some nice lumbar support as well. A very good fit for me when I'm on my back. Now, moving to my side, very, very plush on top. I'm sinking those top layers, feeling very little pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Very nice pressure relief. A good match for me when I'm on my side. But when I move to my stomach, it's not firm enough for me. Again, these plush top layers not giving me quite enough support under my hips. I'm bowing in there a little bit, getting out of alignment. So what does all that mean? I think if you're a heavier back or side sleeper, I would definitely take a look at the Beauterest Black. If you're a heavier stomach sleeper, I would look elsewhere. If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider motion transfer. Basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over you and possibly wake you up at night? To test that, I have a glass here. I'm gonna create a little disturbance around the glass, see how it reacts. You'll see that's not really moving too much. Got memory foam on top layers here, so I expect to do very well. Uh, so it does very well there. Also had Martin on my team kind of jump in out of bed, create a little disturbance. I didn't really feel too much of that motion transfer over to me. So I would say this mattress is a pretty good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're gonna to wanna to consider edge support. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off? Now I'm on the edge here. The foam is collapsing just a little bit, but I can kind of tie my shoes pretty easily. So pretty good from this situation. Uh, lying on my back now. Not really getting any sort of rolling off the bed feeling. So I would say the edge support in this case is pretty good. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. Number one thing I can think of, it's just a great balance of comfort and support. Very pressure relieving yet supportive at the same time. So it's very good for combination sleepers. I think it's very good for side sleepers if you get this comfort upgrade. It's a little bit softer than average. Still supportive, but softer than average. Very good pressure relief. Also good match for back sleepers as well. Um, the memory foam conforms very well to the curves of your body and then the coils kind of hold you up other than that. Uh, it's very good for combination sleepers, side sleepers, back sleepers, and heavier sleepers as well well. It's a very, very substantial mattress, so I think it can support people uh, really up to a pretty high weight. All right, we know about the pros, but what are the cons of this mattress? Number one thing I can think of is stomach sleepers. I think you want something a little bit firmer, a little bit supportive, maybe with a little bit less comfort material overall. Also, if you're looking for something that's extra firm, this one with the comfort upgrade is a little bit softer than average. Even if you don't get the comfort upgrade, I think it's gonna be kind of that medium firmness range. So if you want something a little bit extra firm, I'd probably look elsewhere. Also, kind of the price, um, it's definitely a good value overall, and that's gonna be a long lasting mattress, but they do have these kind of upgrade options. And so the cooling upgrade, is several hundred dollars more. And I think because the fabric's already kind of cool to the touch, I'm not sure you get rid of that extra value by going a several hundred dollars more for the cooling upgrade. All right, if you're taking a look at the Beautyrest Black online, you'll see that they have a cooling upgrade option and a cooling plus comfort option. So which one should you get? I think if you sleep just on your side, definitely getting that cooling plus comfort upgrade is definitely gonna be necessary. I think you might get pretty good pressure relief without it, but definitely feels very, very nice on my side uh, with that kind of cooling plus comfort um, upgrade. I think if you just sleep on your back or stomach, I'm not sure that getting the just the cooling upgrade is gonna be worth it. It's several hundred dollars more, I think 600 right now that may change but $600 extra right now the fabric is cool to the touch so I do think you will not really sleep too hot um, if you don't get that upgrade so that's just kind of something to note I would say if you sleep on your back and stomach I would probably just stick with the original one You'd probably get a better value out of that if you do sleep on your side I would get that upgrade to make it be a little bit more pressure relieving a little bit more comfortable I wanted to give you some additional information about this mattress. You're gonna get a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. You're gonna get what's called free white glove delivery. So rather than shipping in a box, um, two people are gonna come deliver the mattress and kind of set it up for you. So that's very nice as well. They also have with this version, they have a cooling upgrade, which is more money, and then a cooling plus comfort upgrade, which is even more money. They also have a hybrid option as well. They also have stores all across the country where you can check out different Beautyrest Black models. All right, that's basically it. To wrap up, I think a lot of people are gonna really like this mattress. Definitely a very good balance of comfort and support can be good for back sleepers and side sleepers and those who switch positions at night. I would say if you sleep just on your stomach, I might want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive, but I do think a lot of people are gonna like this mattress overall. So that's basically it. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a full list of my top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. And once again, let me know if you have any questions.